today from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. We'll see Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers taking on Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams. Historic Lambeau Field fittingly it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. We all know this community lives for its Packers and the green and gold came out of the title a short time ago and it was loud. We are ready for football, so are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. Turn, it's Simba Webster. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Rams take over. Out come the Rams and at the controls, the former Cal Bear standing at six foot four, quarterback Jared Goff. I love this guy's makeup. He is not afraid to fail. He attacks on just about every snap. Wants to throw the football downfield first. He'll throw it short if he has to. But bottom line, he wants to put a lot of pressure on the defense with his arm. First down, it's gone. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got Mike. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards to loss, second and 12. Sometimes that's a danger, putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies massed in one location. You could wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box and there's nowhere to run the football. Behind the chain, second and 12. A shotgun snap for gone. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I think defensively you're okay with that. And you're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that back-to-back -back -back receptions for him and it's another first down and he's already got two catches on the opening drive <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful and sometimes you game plan for that offensively you want to make sure that guy touches the ball and sometimes it just happens naturally and then you change your game plan when he has the hot hand you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on so into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. From the gun, here's Goff. 
That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Back-to-back -to -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, He's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive going to plan so far. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll run a draw now with Akers. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped to the backfield. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Big completion there on third and short. Keeps their opening drive alive. Not only alive, but plenty of possibilities now. First and goal, and you know me. I'm a big advocate. If you're going to throw the ball, throw it early in the down and distance count. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Here's Goff. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Woods, the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. is caught he's got it touchdown LA Josh Reynolds there to make the grab and the Rams take it right down and score on the opening drive right off the bat they start with a very solid methodical 10 play drive and you know me I tend to look at things from the defensive side they're coming off the field gassed right away we're in the first drive of the game so it's not just what happened but think of the emotion you carry into a game, then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Gay. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here we go with the Packer offense, guided by their decorated QB with a long list of Pro Bowls and other accolades next to his name, of course. Aaron Rodgers leading the way. I think Aaron Rodgers is one of the poster boys for persistence and belief in self. Because coming out of high school, he had zero scholarship offers in the D1 level. Went to a junior college, 
went to Cal and just blew up there. And then, of course, is a first-round draft pick, but a lot lower than what he expected in the first round, and then had to sit behind Brett Favre for a few years in Green Bay before getting his shot. Now he's probably one of the better quarterbacks that we've seen come down the pipe. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got a man. It's Tanyan complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Nine yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Slant to Adams. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he gets it down to the 32. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. The carry here for the big tight end. And he stopped immediately there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. No gain on the play. Makes it third and two. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So on now for the Packers at their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. This from 44 yards away. And the 13-year man puts it through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So, yes, it's only three, but at least we're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. After the 
made field goal. Now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. On the return comes Webster. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 20. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 26. He starts with a give to Akers. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just a yardage loss, but gain a few extra. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Akers. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. The loss results there. Throwing on third, gone. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep is Tavon Austin. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 16. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Second and 13. Rodgers. They'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemius St. Brown. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well.
Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. down carry by Jones and he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory a solid run on first down gain of seven leaves him with a second and three a nice run here early on it doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses so they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. go nickel here defensively on third from the gun it's Rodgers able to find Lazard and this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 27 yard line this first catch and it's a pretty big one they get the conversion on third down that's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game but plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Rodgers on target there to Lazard. And down inside the 15 he goes. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. Over the middle complete, it's Adams. And the Packers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now Jones. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Packers have taken the lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. Thank you. 
and it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't caught before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so someone well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays for one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Gone. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. The good signal calls will never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. From the gun on third down, gone. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 40, and they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. That was just one of those interceptions from our perspective here. We got a good view at the 50-yard line mid-level that quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback, he expected something different from his receiver, whether he expected him to break in, out, deeper, shorter. They'll determine that on the sideline. But bottom line, you could see that he thought he'd be in a different spot, except the defender was not his intended target. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. Touchdown, Packers. Devontae Adams, 40 yards. And the Packers add six to their lead. Well, that didn't take long. The turnover instantly almost turning into points. And when that happens, a lot of teams have the mentality of let's strike right now. You've got them off balance after the turnover or the takeaway. Let's go get it. And that's exactly what they did. Now Crosby for the point after. It's good to make it 17-7. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. Now 
for the touchdown. Here's Crosby to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. First and 10 at their own 27. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Jet sweep to start the drive. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Working with second and five now. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run this with Akers. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Taken down. Zadarius Smith able to get him down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? To throw on second and six, golf. Now the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Focus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one. A third and long. Now gone. That's taken in. Complete to Reynolds. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39. And obviously that's well short of the first. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short Johnny of a first Hecker down. Punt Here's Johnny down. Hacker now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Good coverage there, holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now Aaron Rodgers and the offense heading back onto the field. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And now a fumble. The ball's out. 
And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. By the Rams. These defenses have become so opportunistic, and no matter what you're playing, in this case, wide receiver, you got to be careful. You certainly do, because there is a phrase in today's football that we use all the time, completing the process of the catch. Well, it's after you do that where the trouble begins, right? Meaning you've tucked it away, you're trying to get downfield, but someone's always coming up trying to rake it the ball and knock it free. And this is one of those bang-bang plays, Charles. Did the knee hit first or did the ball come out first? This is where you need that 20-20 eyesight, don't you, Brandon? You've got to see which one happened first. If the knee hit the ground, then they will keep possession. set to get this drive started the Green Bay offense at the line now last drive obviously not what you're looking for you've got the lead you got to protect the football so in other words someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down in this case though giving up the football doesn't make them very happy they can't wait to get back out there and atone for it yeah try to atone for it here on this drive and that's what I'd like to see out of this defense a little fire a little toughness it hasn't been the best first half for them they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Seven yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and ten. Jared Goff and the Rams headed back onto the field. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. Well, so far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Ball carriers. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 24, Goff. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. False start, offense. 
Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. And this offense back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. Goff now to throw. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he's on to punt for L.A. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Now Austin. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Devontae Adams in the Packer offense heading back out, and he is closing in on the 100-yard mark for the day. And it appears that he loved the fact that they're going to play this game earlier. You know, he daytime, he's out there running around, feeling good about himself. Whatever his prep was coming in, he was able to get out there quick and fire away. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him early but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. On second down now, it's Jones. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. L.A. readies for its next possession. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 18. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Now a man open down the middle of the field. A gain of six there on first. To Josh Reynolds. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 35-yard line. And they're trying to line up quickly here. Goff urging them on. Throwing again on second down. Goff. 
throwing middle, but it's incomplete. The intended target was Cam Akers, and it's third down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. A shotgun snap for gone. They got a man. It's Woods. And he is going to have a Rams first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. They'll come up now on second and a yard. From the 50, it's gone. They got a man over the middle. It's Woods. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout. Their second as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Right side complete, that's Woods. Complete. To Give him nine Woods. there on the first down completion. A gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the Packers' 30-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength, very nice route. So not quite a first and goal, it's first and 10 from the 10. Again, golf. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Goff throwing again. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. To the air again, gone. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Jair Alexander that time able to knock that one away. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. Less than an extra point attempt here. This is an 18-yarder. Gay's kick is good. And they're back with it, a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. Rams 10. So, yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in this last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard.
So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. set to get this drive started the Green Bay offense at the line and from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it and I think in this situation that's the proper play but we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out but so we have reached halftime with a touchdown that's the difference on the scoreboard as we'll send you down to Orlando we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report coach all right Brandon and thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We got an excellent first half from the former MVP, Mr. Aaron Rodgers. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. set to receive the kick they've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter this will be fielded inside the five and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28 the Packers take over first and 10 at their own and Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field they have the lead now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook they like what they did in the first half that worked okay but in order to get the separation that you just talked about change things up a little bit change your tendencies try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half Let's see if they do just that they couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half a gorgeous day one score game first and ten here a nice run there by Jones on first down as he'll wind up getting about five, so second and five coming up. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Second and five now. Rodgers got a man. It's Tanyan complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards there and a first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. First and ten, here's Rodgers. That is incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 44-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. 
Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And this one hauled in by Tavon Austin. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. now on first down he'll drop this underneath for Jones it'll be a gain of six and that'll make it a second down just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw and in this case that's exactly what he did found his running back let him create some space and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense From the 17, here's second and four. And again, it's Rodgers. The left side throw complete to Adams. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Yeah, he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. A gain of nine. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. He's not gonna get me. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. From the gun, it's Rodgers. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. John, John. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field. But defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Crosby is good. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. Mason Crosby. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, 
These are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. On first down, gone. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. The hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that, looks like an extra step was involved. So now a fresh set of downs. First and ten after roughing the passer. Back to throw. Gone. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And he will take this all the way down to the Packers 18. That one good for 33 and a first. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected. But that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Out of the gun, gone. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. From the gun, here's Goff. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Kevin King with a pick. Get ready. Go. Get ready. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. And that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal added onto their lead, but that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game, but we probably should go to the post-game press conference because someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive, and he's going to profess that he was happy to get points, and we know that's not true. Okay, after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Rodgers gives this to Jamal Williams. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And Adams has it. Good play. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. 
And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. This one complete to Tanya and underneath. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Four yards to pick up, first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. First down, it's Jones, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Aaron Donald, a gain of three, second down. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. There defensively was John Johnson to knock it free. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. Webster now to return. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. Well, the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Push it back. Push it back. Now go off. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big play on the catch and run covering 34 yards. 
points. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well to get a few stops. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. On the counter, this is Akers. And a solid run down inside the 30. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Shotgun snap for gone. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Man, open, it's Cup. He's got it. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A Ram first down as Goff finds Cup. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Goff. He'll get this one to Cup, complete. And the Rams are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Throwing again is gone. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. The connection there, Goff to Cooper Cup. And the Rams are able to get back within a touchdown. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Gay is on for the point after. It's up and good, and the lead's now down to three at 20 to 17. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. This will make it into the end zone, and he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Number 12 back out there. Aaron and his Packer teammates set to begin their drive. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's falling off. When a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually... 
there's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone that can get in his ear, get with him and say, all right, my man, what do you need? What's going on here? So there's one person he can lean on. He's got to lean on that guy right now. He was trying to find Equinemius St. Brown. That'll bring up second down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Being chased, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again, and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. From the gun, Rodgers. Forced out to his left. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. The Rams take over, first and 10. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. up here first and 10 at their own 27 and from the shotgun he'll throw and that's caught left side it's Woods and he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45 first play of the drive a success 19 yards I tell you what he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long that throw no different yeah a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw I think he looks at it as I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Now gone. Right side complete. That's Woods. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. And two at the 46-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Goff throwing complete to Cup, and this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 27-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get, all right, 300? That means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. On first down, it's gone. Shakes off the... Oh, no, he lost the football. Weston Smith. Aaron Rodgers. 
fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Goff now looks to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. The Rams on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and 17. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in his performance. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Smith. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll go again here with Akers. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Robert Woods from Jared Goff. And the Rams are going to jump back in front. There it is, partner. You see it. Four fingers. <laughs> what does that four mean? Fingers. That, four, that signifies the fourth quarters here. That's right. Who's going to dominate? Usually both teams are holding them up. We own the fourth quarter. What we found out so far, two touchdowns here. And now they've taken the lead. Yeah, second one putting them in front. You know what I see on the other sideline, though? It seems like they've tensed up, had that lead. They were playing not to lose it, and they've lost it. That's a great observation. When you play not to lose, you usually don't win. Now, though, they'll have the opportunity to respond. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. That time, a nine-play drive. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Twenty. Gay. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. 
fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Out comes Devontae Adams in the offense for their next drive. And the stats on his game, they really tell the story. A strong start. I don't know that the defense has really changed a whole lot as opposed to maybe just sticking to that game plan and shutting him down now. I like where you're going with that because normally we talk about adjustments and drastic changes in a game plan in order to shut someone down. But in this case, maybe they're just sticking with what they worked on all week and they're just making better plays. And so far, they've got to like what they've been doing in the second half. On first down, Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now a dump off here complete, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Operating from the gun, Rodgers got a man. It's Tanyan complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Ran a perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 16. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. At the nine-yard line. Second and three from the nine. Rodgers to throw once more. Now he's got it. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. They certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Back at the two now, here's second and goal. They'll run it with Williams. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Packers have retaken the lead. They were able to push him backwards on first down, but this time he forces his way in. I wonder if he went back to the huddle and said, guys, just a little bit more help, and I can get it done on this one. Maybe even overruled the play.
play call from the sideline, just feeling like he had that opportunity and he wanted to cash it in. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drive goes eight plays, and it was Jamal Williams who ended things with a touchdown run. Turn comes Webster. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 27. So Goff and the Rams down 27-24, 2-10 on the clock. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. down gone that's taken in complete to Reynolds and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds a good pick up there 26 yards and passing yardage wise now up over 350 in this game pretty nice performance definitely that which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover if you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Out of the gun, gone. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He's back to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes. That's exactly both. what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been in one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. And if you have a big-time pass pressure, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. He'll throw complete to Cam Akers. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. Yeah, see if you can get it to your running back. See if he can make someone miss in the open field. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. We've seen some big kicks in the NFL the last few years, and that one might just rank right up there. And you know you can hear the crowd react, right? But I was focused in on the sideline and watched them absolutely erupt. I don't know how many of them thought that he was actually going to make that kick, but how about how they felt when the ball went over the post? Matt Gay 
Boy, hard to ask for a better game thus far. 27 apiece is our score as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. On, and on the return, the Packers take over first and 10. At their own 20, the Green Bay offense ready to take over. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. To throw is Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. Rodgers in control as he hurries his guys to the line. Now Rodgers. He's going to look deep down the field. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Rodgers to throw. That's complete to Lazard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. This one complete to Tanyan underneath. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Williams. Michael Brockers in on the stop. The ball carrier. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So the game here hangs on the Mason right foot Crosby of Mason Crosby. And we will He's get a timeout with two ticks left. So the game here hangs on the right foot of Mason Crosby. This from 51 yards for the win. It's on target, and it's good. From 51 yards out, he drills it. And there will be some happy cheese heads tonight as the Packers have won the game. Well, a little 
some drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.